Greetings and welcome back to Asafo Academic. This is going to be an interesting topic for sure. Um, this is about or starting with the angry biracial on YouTube. There's a little bit of a back and forth between angry biracial and Tanya TKO. But this golden sphere, this idea of um, a biracial space, I didn't know it it existed so i seen an opportunity to do a deep dive into this subject so i am going to show what it says about the golden sphere there's other names for it as well too and what it actually is so we're going to start with the angry biracial this is on facebook it's still up Yo, someone like you too. What's crack lacking? It's your boy, the Seam Alan Meme. You know me on Facebook as the one and only Jesse Macbeth on the She B and the Airways on this double O Negro. The voice ain't got a stutter. <coughs> that ain't your brother, Akuna Matata. Yo, I'm not going to keep y'all too long. I got a headache. It's been a long day for me. But I, I had to say some things about this space, about the golden sphere. Because the Golden Sphere, as it is now, is a fucking sewer. This motherfucking place is uh -oh. infested with, 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 with pedos, with, with, with people stalking and, and harass women. Just... That is a very heavy accusation. That's something I would definitely take seriously. Let's go back a little bit. Yo, I'm not going to keep y'all too long. I got a headache. It's been a long day for me. But I, I had to say some things about this space, about the Golden Sphere. Because the Golden Sphere, as it is now, is a fucking sewer. This motherfucking place is infested with, 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 with pedos, with, with, with people stalking and, and harass women. with just a bunch of mentally nutball people. You know, there are a lot of good people in this sphere, too. But unfortunately, the not so good people are the fucking loudest. So I cannot be associated with a space that promotes sexual assault, that promotes violence against children and a space that, you know, that that there's active people in here stalking women. I cannot be associated with this fucking space. I can't, you know? You know, and a couple people reached out to me today. A couple people that I really admire and 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 that that I um I'm just going to take a, a very big, you know, I'm going to jump out the window on this one, but I think this what we're seeing here or what he's if this is true allegedly allegedly um this this seems similar to incel incel culture yeah that that that's what it sounds like to me continue they inspired me to do my channel i'm not going to name them because they don't want to be associated with this fucking space either you know my wife got me a, a banana split so i'm eating this as i'm talking to y'all she ice cream on my face and it is what it is i'm tired of shit so I can't be associated with that type of shit. My patience is at an end. Like, I believe the golden sphere started off as something good, something well intended. I believe that, you know, this was supposed to be a space for, for biracials and light skin and mixed race people. But where it fucked up was it let every, <coughs> everybody and anybody came in and used the hashtag and became a part of, of this space without any vetting. So now we got people who, we got pedos in here. We got people who great people in here. We have people who stalk and harass women. All kinds of fuckers in here. Yeah, incel, incel, and incel. Check, check, and check. And it's fucking crazy that there are some, some good people in here. Like, shout out to Gigi and, and Multi. Even though we've had our beefs, um, it was actually a big misunderstanding that fucking blew up. But Gigi and Multi are two of 
two of some g g genuine people. Multi has a, I mean, Gigi has a huge fucking heart. You know what I mean? She views this space a, a, as, as like a big family. You know, you know, that everyone has spats and whatever, but, you know, she is well, one of the good ones, Um, you know, despite what anyone else may think. <laughs> but I personally have to distance myself from the Golden Sphere. Look, my channel is still going to remain the same. I'm still going to be up here talking my shit, do doing my video. Okay, so this video is titled Exiting the Manosphere. So I, I think I've given enough even um, context as well, too. He's not completely slamming the entire movement, but until, until elements have crept into the uh, to the Golden Sphere. So this is what Golden Dictionary says. There's only one definition. It has, now has five thumbs down. The Golden Sphere is heavily connected to the Black Manosphere. This very small group of admixed black people complain on the internet about alleged oppression they experience from the black community. This group is also connected to child sexual abuse and sex work. Hmm. Their goal is to divest from the black community and develop a new golden race compromised of biracial people. The golden sphere is full of I'm not even going to hold them. I don't know. I got to check that. Jeez. Anyways. So. I also found this as well too. Now let me try and blow this up a little bit bigger. Perfect. So, Golden Sphere. A thread to discuss the online hilarity of a subgroup of racial identitarians known as the Golden Sphere. What would happen if white nationalists and hoteps had an interracial gang bang? The result, the result would definitely be this group of cows. This thread is specifically about light-skinned or mixed-race African Americans who generally believe they are superior to other African Americans, even Blasians, based on their golden skin and that they need to secure a nation for golden people and golden children. Important note, no race baiting, no posting, normal mixed light skinned people and no regurgitative comments about black culture race missing. So notable cows. So this cow is definitely sounds like a cold word, but hybrid vigor, black knight fool, Canadian will accuse women he disagrees with of being lesbians, masculine, or radical feminists when he has incellish tendencies and a high pitched voice himself, constantly accuses others of being mentally ill. I don't want to read this to be honest, it's some wild stuff. So Caesar Cannon. So there's hyper hybrid vigor. Caesar Cannon. I'm guessing these are on YouTube. Golden Goddess. Gets into online drama constantly despite being like, whoa. Okay. So these are names. Okay, so they're all YouTube channels here as well, too. So maybe we'll be able to come back. So all this stuff is like alleged, alleged, alleged. Like, damn. Well, here is a screenshot. Okay, I guess I could. Okay. Hyper Vigor recently had a spell with another Golden Sphere cult member named Liz uh, over him talking or three different. Also sending her messages. It's really trying to get her. You know, myself for allegedly saying mean things. Golden Goddess's children, which is ironic considering how Golden Goddess called Bossy Empress kids. Uh, so here's the receipt, if this is real. So that's Basi Empress TV. There's Golden Goddess. Okay. So we continue on through the wormhole of the Golden Sphere. Walk with me.
interesting. YouTube here. So there's Atlantic Creole. I'm not sure Black Knight. Okay, Hyper Vigor. So they're putting pictures out there. Damn. I'm just sort of reading through. I don't want to, I, I want to make sure I read this before I say anything too wild. Okay. Mulatto Vanguard. He's with is a tool. I'm not sure what that means. That's probably why they're both getting other pre previous political movements. They were in since there are, the others found out the truth. So Mulatto Vanguard. I don't think that was the name that was brought up. That's the end of it. Another wormhole we went through. So there's actual hashtags, and we'll just go through the hashtags, and the hashtag should tell the story. So these are the recent two videos I was talking about that kind of you know imploded this whole thing. So definitely check it out. So Golden Goddess. The amazing Lucas drops facts about biracials. The Atlantic Creole. Okay, there he is. Magic Mulata. How do we get the Golden Sphere out the mud? Interesting. Golden Goddess. Mental health issues running rampant in the Golden Sphere. And pass for bros and shit. Okay. This is Blazing King. Guys, go follow her TikTok. She is half African, half Indian. Golden Sphere. Okay. Mulata Pixie. Okay. So these are like Blazing King. There's a lot of go follow, go follow, go follow on TikTok. This person is this and that, that and this. A and B, C and D sort of thing. So Blazing Kings, I go follow these people. This one is a guy here. So they're just following biracial people. Okay, James Maps. Blackistan think light-skinned biracial mixed race men really act versus how we really act. Golden Sphere. Okay. I'm just going to read the titles. Not going to really do any videos. I'm just going to walk through. See anything that catches interest because they're jumping into the golden sphere. Throwback golden sphere featuring multi JT smiles, Jake Bell, AMR. Okay, so that's golden goddess. So we've seen golden goddess, the Atlantic Creole already. There's Blazing King, go follow, go follow. Mixed race celebrity claimed their mixture on golden, golden sphere, Blazing King. Go follow, go follow, go follow, go follow, go follow. At least. At least half a dozen, maybe a dozen. Okay. Blazion King, Zayn Malik, half European, half Pakistan. So you must be uh, a, a, like a celebrity. Magic Mulata, what do we truly want in our communities? Golden Sphere. Blazion King, brown skin and dark skin mixed race do exist. Part two, Golden Sphere. Hold up, Blazing King. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. From what I'm gathering from Golden Sphere, would they still qualify to be Golden Sphere if they are not golden? <laughs> Isn't that the standard? I thought that was the standard. So it's interesting. Maybe he is not part of the Golden Sphere. Maybe he's just pro biracial. So we'll go down. Golden Sphere. Hmm. Go follow Ablation TikToker. This is how African and South Asian mix look like. Happy birthday, Rihanna, Golden Sphere. Is she Golden Sphere? Is she biracial or are they just claiming? Let's continue. A lot of Blasian King. So he's throwing a lot of awareness of biracial people.
Frederick Douglass, half African, half European. Is that true? Of course, you got to have Drake. Damian Marley. Okay. I'm just, you know, I just see a bit of a contradiction with dark skin biracial people. I understand exactly what they're trying to say, but I mean, even the name Golden Sphere, but uh, Golden Goddess, should mixed people only marry or create with each other? Okay. That's an interesting topic right there. Golden Goddess, Exoticals United, Troll Rashida Strober, the dark skin activist. Hmm. Tia Maori facing backlash and accused of playing into texturism and colorism. Angry biracial. Black fathers will break their children's hearts. Interesting. Very, very interesting. The future is golden. Understanding race versus ethnicity. Golden goddess. Do men prefer light-skinned women? Golden Goddess, Candace Owens questions Meghan Markle's blackness. Lashira for you. There is no diversity in the black community by brown skin exoticals. Exoticals United, what color is light skin? Multiracial movement, biracial perspective. Exoticals United, white leaning mixed people versus black leaning mixed people. Hmm. Golden goddess, mixed race man growing up in an all white family. And there's around 500 posts. So I think the future is golden. Why do some black, white biracials invalidate the identity of other mixed race people? So I think it's pretty much to the end. Interesting multiracial movement. Long live the queen. Mm, interesting. Very interesting. Long live the queen. Okay. Exoticals United. Black people still uphold the paper bag test. Black is and hypocrisy exposed. Episode two. Hmm. Yeah, Blasian can still doing it 10 months ago. This is going 10 months back, no? Black is an hypocrisy exposed. Multiracial movement calls into the amazing Lucas. Hmm. Golden Goddess on Johnny Depp, apparently being multi. Golden Goddess, Obsidian uses pretty things to troll and taunt black women. Hmm. Interesting. Have to say, not surprised. Golden goddess, white mothers of biracials getting dragged on TikTok. Hmm. Civil war, looks like. This is the end, folks. This is a melanin appreciation. This is seven months ago. Um, biracial chats. Okay, so this was the Golden Sphere hashtag, 500 posts about 10 months ago, so barely even a year old. It looks like 55 channels. So another hashtag is biracial sphere. This one's less than 100 videos, so this would be a lot shorter to go through. But a lot of Golden Goddess multiracial movement, being biracial in America, biracial man tormented in a racist white community. When black people speak, speak for mixed people, multiracial movement. Biracial man says black community needs to be checked first. Biracial woman says biracials aren't accepted due to their anti-blackness. Biracials with white moms on TikTok 
have a message for biracials with black moms. Let's see here. This is something worth clicking. 67. Apparently, some of the biracials on TikTok with white mothers have had enough of the biracials with black moms shitting on them. Bitch, we don't want the, the recipe to your mom, Peach Cobbler, bitch. <laughs> Apparently, some of the biracial. Okay. Mixed race man growing up in an all white family. Big lotto proving we got the best of both worlds five months ago. Biracial woman against black men and white women dating. I wonder why. Let's see. So should mixed people only marry procreate with each other? So unless there's other conversations going, this doesn't seem like a very large movement. It is growing for sure um, to start from completely from scratch. It is growing, but it's barely even a year on YouTube anyway. So unless there's other platforms, white mothers of biracials getting dragged on TikTok. Eurasians worshipped in China, but Blasians are ostracized. I wonder why. I wonder why. Ronnie James attacked for interracial dating. Yeah, I mean, if definitely if you're pro-biracial, you have to be pro-biracial dating. It only makes sense. A Puerto Rican man's opinion on why biracials get so much hate. Those four minutes. Mulatto icon, Jerry John Rollins. So Mulatto Vanguard. Mulatto Vanguard, maybe. Maybe I, there was. Well, he's definitely popping up here. Mulatto Vanguard. Okay. Again, the civilian uses pearly things to troll and tom black women. Random black pro crying in my comment section. ADOS. And Ghana, interesting. Flower Tower running her mouth about biracials again in her bonnet. Mm -hmm. Sorry to Flower Tower for catching a stray. Golden Goddess versus Taz exclusives and Nyla says throwback. Hmm. Let's see here. I've watched Cynthia's. I've seen you on her content, but I haven't necessarily watched your channel per se. But I'm just saying that you guys are having discussions about biracials, but you're not letting biracials on the panel, and that's not fair. That's biased. Well, you think biracials haven't been on the panel? What, bi you, you, what biracials that kiss your ass? You don't think, you don't think I'm talking about real biracials. The manosphere is coming for your neck, and you're talking about me right now, and I have not disrespected you. The manosphere is coming for your neck right now. Better go sit with them niggas. Don't call me a you why you call women a That's bitch. why you're here and not them. No, Stupid you would act like a off my shit and go find one of the ass niggas that come up here and defend you then. Okay. Talking about some man that's here grab my neck. We'll tell them why. Damn. That's all I gotta say. The year of return, a lot of Vanguard. Vice's colorism debate. The mulattoes. Hybrid analysis. Mulattophobia, Mulatto Defined, Mulatto Vanguard, Dr. Claude Anderson and his Paranomics concept. Interesting. Okay, Mulattophobia, BGS Ibmore, Cynthia G. Okay, so that is the biracial sphere. All of it, basically everything, the whole movement on YouTube is a, a year old, not even a year old so far. So the third and final hashtag is mulatto sphere. So not as long, not as big as golden sphere, but bigger than bi biracial sphere. So cultured mulatto, uh, picture Andrew Tate, mulatto woman from UK realizes she's different. The superiority of the mulatto book reading part one, interesting. Mulatto sphere stronger than ever. RP are enemies. Hybrid the conqueror. The truth about one drop rule. Let's hear this. The one drop rule. So I was wondering why is it that people would agree to a rule like that? Because it's racist. It was made during slavery only because the mulattoes were gaining a higher social and economic status and they were getting pretty close to the level of white people. 
So, of course, the whites felt intimidated by that. So they made that rule to make themselves feel better and make other people feel or seem lower. And so I was wondering why people today would still agree with something like that, because to me, it shows a sign of being stuck in slavery mentality still. The one drop. Okay. Mulattoes have to fight for their own identity. The mulattoes. Mulattophobia. Kamala Harris. Heteronormative perspective on mulatto relationships. Heteronormative. Interesting word. My podcast number four, MV podcast, biracial baby mamas. The rise of the mulattoes, stay mad, but stay down. Hybrid the conqueror, three months ago. Mulattoes here stronger than ever, proud mulatto. Attempted erasure of mulatto identity, part one. It's bad baby mix fishing, mulattoes here. Fig tries to tell mulattoes here what to do. This happens. Hmm. Random black pro <laughs> crying in my comment section. Blackwashing mulatto history. The importance of youth mentorship. When you're biracial and have an N-word pass. Tackling mixed and queer crazies on the mulatto channels. Hmm. Hybrid responses to rad feminist hyena sphere of mush mouthery. Okay. Mulatto Vanguard, quick stroll through Ghana. Hmm. Mulatto Vanguard, is the one drop rule obsolete part two? When mixed people apply for an N-word pass, looks like a skit. A drop of black butter doesn't mean you're black. Again. All right, guys, by popular demand, I brought Adrienne back because she is the queen of TikTok. Uh, so we want to talk about this comment that we got. She's mixed, not black. And she also has mixed. Also, I don't know what that second part is. So like, we need to evaluate that. Uh, dead man walking 90s. Look at that again. But um, we discussed on the last one that she's clearly not mixed, right? Both of her parents are black. So she had a few wor words that she'd like to share with you guys. So if you have a drop of black blood within you, you're black. Okay, so do you only have one drop of black blood in you? Oh, I have a lot of black blood in me. Okay, so, you know, to kind of clarify again, are you, are you mixed to your knowledge? Not mixed. Okay, so both of your parents are black. They're black. Okay, what about your grandparents? They're black. You don't say. <laughs> All right, guys, by popular demand, I brought Adrian back because she is the queen of TikTok. Uh, so we want to talk. Interesting. Let's continue on. The Prince of Peach Cobbler strikes again. Strikes back, sorry. The Atlantic Creole terror era is coming to an end. Stay down. Hybrid the Defender. Yeah, it seems like a lot of inside stuff. With some of these titles, to be honest, Non-black allies to black nationalists are as dumb as black nationalists themselves. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, so mulatto sphere definitely sounds. I mean, it's a different, definitely a different vibe to it for sure. Looks like the mulattoes, hybrid the defender, mulatto vanguard, hybrid the conqueror. There's hybrid the conqueror and hybrid the defender. Okay, mulatto pixie. Angry, bitter black woman rejects biracial man's identity because he doesn't want to date her. Okay, so that's it for the mulatto sphere. But we got more. We got more. We got more for sure. So mulatto, mulatto pixie, this is from the actual hashtag, right? So we'll go to videos, see what they have to say for themselves. He was caught red-handed, Tanya TKO. Interesting. It's an angry, bitter black woman, sexualization and abuse of mixed race people. Seems like a lot of the other videos is like inside stuff for other YouTubers and that. I trolled a, a known black nationalist. Mixed race history of slavery. Okay. So that is Malata Pixie. Now we got multiracial movement, almost at a thousand, almost at a thousand. So biracial pride, why bother certain people? Andrew Tate says Meghan Markle isn't black enough. Entitled black woman can relate to biracial woman. 
biracial women against black men and white women dating. Things only biracials understand. Mixed features get attacked. Sharp on no jumper press for being light skin. Divested mammy still want biracial kids. TikTok talking about mixed babies again. Big lotto proving we got the best of both worlds. Multiracial movement. Rosa Parks light skin privilege debunked. So this was a year ago. So I should have checked a lot of Pixie, the oldest, nine months ago. So this does seem to be around a year. We have the oldest so far. Around a year it makes sense, almost at a thousand, right? Hybrid vigor. Are black women the most lesbian? Yes. DC, the mulatto set chime in on black nationalist propaganda. Yeah. Fig tries telling the mulatto sir what to do. This happens. Okay. Seems to be using hyenas for a diss for a certain group. I'm not gonna speculate. Mulatto sphere is stronger than ever. RIP our enemies. Black guy bashes mulatto woman and goes on racist rant about Latinos. The Atlantic Creole terror era is coming to an end. The rise of the mulattoes. So this is Blasian King. Yeah, like I said, a lot of his videos, it seems like deals with following people, but do you guys think they look Asian mixed black? Leave the opinion in my comment. Like button. Jamaica is not race and not all Jamaican are black. Correct. It's a nationality. Chile is half African-American, half Bengali. Bruh. Doesn't seem like said he's using golden sphere but it doesn't seem like he identifies with the golden sphere ideology seems like he's just doing his own thing for biracial people of any color it seems like darker skin and tan skin south asian to exist blasian celebrity with black mom and asian father south asian mixture Okay, so that, all that go follow seems to be coming. Or hold on. It's going back eight months. Do you guys think I look like a Dravidian South Indian man? Interesting. Dravidians are dark skin. There's really no concept of a light skin Dravidian. So people are trying to claim Adaman tribes and African are real Dravidian not South Indian. Do you guys think I look like native, Australian, South Asian, Blasian, East African, West African? Diversity of South Asia people. So it definitely does not seem like Blasian King is a golden sphere ideology, but definitely pro biracial of all shades. So I don't think he really counts, to be honest. I think he just happens to be using the, the hashtag Golden Sphere. But from what we've seen so far, I think there's a pretty clear um, identity of what the Golden Sphere is. I'll go, I'll go through some of the points at the end. Okay, so responding to Vision of Asia, a review of Chrissy's Way video about biracial privilege. White mothers of biracials getting dragged on TikTok, okay. Meghan Markle, royalty and biracial hate. Cynthia J compares biracials to transgenders. Interesting. Obsidian uses pearly things to troll and taunt black women. Flower Tower, okay. Golden Goddess versus Cynthia G, throwback. Lado, Ice Spice, and everything not so nice. The jealousy of mixed and light skinned female rappers. Interesting. Kodak Black calls Lotto a mutt. Hmm. Third World Latina says they will not submit, but American men will. This is going back seven months, six months. Cynthia G. Trolls, Doja Cat, and Biracials. Chrissy yapping about mixed and light skinned women again. Interesting. It was going back eight months. Women's Fair defends biracials and light skinned and islands, Cynthia G. 
Interesting, interesting. So that is the Golden Sphere. Over a thousand subscribers. Not even um, a year yet as well. Everything's less than a year, it looks like. So the future is golden, 329. Makes in light skin excellence on display, Super Bowl 2023. Gatekeeping versus erasure, the term mixed. Why do some MGM, multi-generational -gen mixed people sometimes suffer, suffer from identity crisis? Interesting. Mixed race women are not objects. Is being genetically mixed the same as having a mixed phenotype? Understanding race versus ethnicity seven months ago. Pro-black versus pro-mixed. Hmm. What does it mean to be pro-MLS and pro-mixed? American racial descriptors of the past. Okay. Can you be multi-generational mix without two mixed parents? Multi-generational, interesting. What is a multi-generational, generationally mixed person? So that is it for the golden, the future is golden. This is Exoticals United celebrating mixed women of all shades. So not sure if they are along the same lines of the golden sphere and the standard. It seems like multi-generational. I mean, it is just one person, but it seems like they've created a space for multiracial people. Addressing the colorism crybaby sector about texturism. Brainwashing tactics used to stop exoticals from dating each other. So this is going back a year. 50 Shades of Caramel, Blackistan Gaslighting Tactics Against Caramel Skin Tones. Longing for Pretty Privilege, Blackistan Hypocrisy Exposed. White Leaning Mixed People versus Black Leaning Mixed People. How to Keep Yourself on a Pedestal as an Exotical. How to keep yourself on a pedestal as an exotical. I never thought I would read that type of title, Dev. Okay. Exotical Baywatch. Dark versus light skin relationship standards. What is an exotical? Rapper Saweetie gets canceled for being too pretty. Cruel summer episode calling out synthetic swirlers in Blackistan. What would a mixed race community look like? Chrissy followers respond to mixed people creating the, our own community. Chrissy's followers. Serena Williams and black women's obsession with looking mixed. It's okay to roast a light skin or mixed girl, but not a dark skin black woman. People love attacking mixed and light skin artists, but dark skin black women always get a pass. This is mixed fishing, not black fishing. Hmm. Okay, so. Another interesting perspective. And that's pretty much it for this deep dive. I would say without being um, being completely objective, it seems like it's a pro-biracial movement. And it looks like they want to see biracial people continuing on, I guess, the idea of being biracial as a race, hence the golden sphere. But it seems like I won't be I won't be critical at all. I'm just gonna say it's pro biracial, and essentially I would say they're just biracial. Not that they're just, but they're biracial nationalists, if you will, because they're in the they want to look out for the biracial race essentially and continue to be biracial. It seems like multi generationally mixed it said interesting interesting i mean i could say that i feel where they're coming from 100 percent being in the middle so i do have some thoughts on that i just wanted to leave this as it is really so this is a deep dive hopefully you've learned a little bit more about this movement that's growing and everything if you like what i do check out my other videos on 
a plethora of topics, politics, history. Yeah, I do my thing. So like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm out.